Hello everyone, Jeff here. So I thought I'd show you my version of a summer tub. This is a tub I have, um, this buck, tub bucket thing. It's mostly filled with java moss. Um, recently I showed my video of a my Guppy Endler hybrid tank, that 10 gallon, where I removed most of the java moss that was in that tank and replaced it with jungle bell. So I had no place to put that java moss, so I just threw it in this bucket and put it outside. So I figured I'd do a little experiment and see how well it does in the blazing heat in the Mojave Desert in the summer, where see if it can live through 110 degrees that it reaches. Um, and there's also a little bit of ricky in here and some duckweed. And it evaporates pretty quick. So the water is, you can see that it's lower. Um, when I've been doing water changes, in my 30 gallon, I'd dump the water in here and fill it back up. Um, so it has like nitrates in it. And well, let's see what the temperature is. So I live in Las Vegas in the desert. So that's supposed to be 100 and around 108 degrees today. So yeah, that's about 110 degrees. And let's see what the water temperature is. hundred so yeah so it lives through Java moss lives through that those high temps um, you can see there's some algae growing in here see it along the edges of the bucket and there's no filter no air pump or anything just stagnant water basically and I, I figure I'm gonna try um, some fishing here not during the summer not when it's this hot but like my version of here in Las Vegas my version of summer tubs I'll have to do either in the spring or the fall so the spring has passed and now it's the summer so I think I'm gonna wait until the fall because in the summer, June, July, and August, it's 100 degrees every day, and it reaches you know, the hottest days. It'll go through stretches where it's 110, reach up to 115. So, yeah, you know, all my tanks, like I said, I, Java moss grows pretty fast for me. Um, supposedly, it doesn't grow fast, but it grows fast for me and I you know when I do water changes my 30 gallon I often pull out some java moss in there and now I'm just tossing in this this bucket and while I'm out here I'll show you how I'm sanitizing my my siphons and nets basically just leaving them out here in blazing heat so you know any that might any contaminants will 110 degrees will should be able to sterilize it pretty good. You just have to be careful because it does get really windy in Las Vegas sometimes. So whenever it's going to be windy, I gotta take these and bring them inside because I have lost some nets over the side. But yeah, so. That's what I'm doing with my java moss. I, like I said, I have so much of it I don't know what to do with, so I'm just throwing it in here. All right. Well, that's it for now. And in case you didn't already know, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies, and I enjoy kitties. Thanks for watching.